what is up everybody today I'm going to be showing you probably the most useful piece of software I've ever come across um, on Linux um, I've gotten so much use out of this uh, program I use it almost every day and if I had to pick a favorite Linux utility this one would probably be it um, it's called piano bar it is a Pandora client for the command line um, so what it does is it connects to Pandora Internet Radio and it gives you um, and a, a basically music streaming client in the command line and it is great it has tons of features um, no advertisements unlimited song skipping it'll just play great music all day you can discover new music with it um, it's an awesome utility um, so to get this, first you're going to need to make a Pandora account if you don't already have one. So you're going to hop over to Pandora.com, you're going to come over to sign up, you're going to fill all that out, click sign up, enter your uh, email and password, that kind of stuff. Um, I just created a new account for this video. Alright, so after that, um, we're going to go ahead and install it. Um, the instructions past this point are going to be for Arch Linux and Arch based distributions. Um, so it's going to vary a little bit based on your distro. Um, but this is in the official package repos for Arch, so we're going to install it with Pac Man. So we're going to do sudo pac man dash capital S piano bar. And we also need to install another additional package with it, which for some reason is not. Uh, included as a dependency, it's JSON-C. So we're going to type that out and press enter. Okay, press enter. Okay, so now it's installed. So to start it up, we're going to just go ahead and run Piano Bar. So Piano Bar. It's going to ask us for our email to log in. in with the email that we just created on Pandora and the password. Okay, it's going to log in and then um, I've created a few stations. So I have a chill radio, a Pink Floyd, and a tool radio. Um, so you can come in here and you basically just, uh, it'll give you your stations and you select by number which station you want to listen to. Um, if you, you can press question mark at any time. Apparently not right now, so we're going to select uh, Tool Radio with three. And it's just going to start playing music. We can uh, press question mark at any time while the music's playing, and it will give us a list of all the commands that we can use. So Plus will love a song, so if you uh, if you plus a song, it'll play that song more often and songs like it more often. Minus bans a song, so you can ban a song from being played and it'll play less songs like that song. Um, <coughs> a can add a greater variety of music to a station, so I'm on Tool Radio right now. If I press A, I could add, for example, uh, Jimi Hendrix to the station and it would play primarily music like Tool and Jimi Hendrix. C creates a new station so if I want to create a station let's say I want to create a station let's press C. Okay so now we can uh, enter any artist or any title of any song. Um, so let's go ahead and create a station for Let's say uh, Eric Clapton. So we type Eric Clapton. It's going to search. And it found him. So we press 0 to select that station. And now it created the Eric Clapton station. Um, so if I want to go to a new station, I just press S for change station. It'll give me my list of stations. As we can see, Eric Clapton Radio was added, so I can go to one. And 
and there we go. And that's my Eric Clapton radio. So if I want to love this song, I can press plus, and as you can see, it says loving song. Um, we can look at song information with I, so that'll give us our song info. Um, we can look at the song history with H, so that'll give us our history of the songs that we've played in this session, and we can go ahead and play them if we want to again. Um, <clears throat> we can press N to go to the next song. So you can do that as many times as you want. Just press N if you want to skip a song. Press N if you want to skip a song. If you don't like a song and you want to ban a song, you press minus and it'll ban that song and never play it again and go on to the next song automatically. Um, the brackets decrease and increase volume. Um, <clears throat> spacebar or P pauses and resumes. I usually use spacebar. Um, you can rename a station with R. Um, there's quite a few different commands here. It's a pretty useful piece of software. You just press question mark to look at all those commands. Um, it's a pretty awesome piece of software for sure. And one more thing I wanted to show you before the video is over. To quit, you just press Q. <coughs> um, you can create a configuration file using this stuff right here and you create that file at let's cd.config and mkdir piano bar so we're creating the directory uh, pian uh, home config piano bar that's the directory right there and inside of that directory you create a file called config And in that config, you can enter this stuff, audio quality. Um, there's high, medium, and low. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that to high. You can do auto start station by ID. I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna delete that. You can put your plain text password here to auto log in. And your username, you can also add here to auto log in. And then you save that file. So when you start Piano Bar again, it will automatically log you in and you're right here ready to go. And you can go ahead and select a station and start listening to music right away. All right, so that's Piano Bar. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video and go ahead and check it out. If you're a music lover, um, you'll discover a lot of new music using this program. I know for a fact I did. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, thanks for watching.